Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, Glenn. I thought I'd do a little ride and uh, show you how this thing goes. The Tannis Armor inserts, they make this bike feel a whole lot more comfortable. That's just what I think. Uh, we're gonna ride along right now. I'll show you how this thing rides. Oh, and by the way, a little introduction to myself. Uh, I have arthritic knees. In 2015, I was diagnosed with liver cancer. I've had a full liver transplant. I've had a broken femur, right femur with a rod in it. I'm missing my left big toe. I'm not diabetic. That's another story for another day. But 13.6 is about all you get out of this bike with me on it. My daughter, she probably weighs 100 pounds and it still does the same thing, maybe 13.7. And yes, even with the new tires I put on here, I still feel, feel a little bit of a wobble. I know the front one's got some going on, but uh, other than that, lean left to go left. Lean right to go right. I'm at full power. It's hard getting off and on. I do step on that chain guard. Getting on and off. The ghost pedaling's terrible at one and two on this on this bike. I'd like to get a 52 inch sprocket later on when I get my knees. Hope I don't know what I'm going to do there. Hopefully I can get some shots for now that'll help it for a little while. But eventually I'm probably going to need knee replacements, which is just. With a liver transplant, I don't know how that will go. I'm 200 and probably 58 pounds, 60 pounds. And this bike is doing really good for me. I'm really loving every minute of it. Um, like I say, I, you probably saw the other videos where I, I added the uh, pole holders, little net holder. I do plan on going fishing. It's really hot right now. I know that's making an excuse, but at my age, you gotta really watch it. But as you can see, I, the Tannis Armor inserts make this bike feel better. And it's, it's odd, but it does. I'm gonna pull over here and stop for a minute. I'll show you a little something. See, I use both my brakes. And you can hear the front one now. Hear it? Back when you don't hear, I watched a video the other day of a guy um, doing the brakes on his bike and was talking about how electric wanted to charge a certain amount, like 40 bucks for a pair of brakes. I don't know if that's right or not. And he got them off of Amazon and he put them on. And he, I guess he was trying to stop the bike with just the back brake all the time. And he was, he was jerking it all around. You use both your brakes right both your brakes to stop i can stop this thing i'll show you here doing seven miles per hour i can skid the tires in the back and stop that fast you just be nice to your brakes he ended up breaking the right handle i think because he was just squeezing it so hard And you see, here's the pedaling. And then it, it's gone. Um, if my knees were in good shape, I'd put a 52 inch sprocket on here. I Maybe I'm gonna do it anyway. and may even help exercise my knees. I mean, that's how easy this bike is to ride. Like I say, I'm not in the greatest shape. I do keep very active. And then stopping, I can stop this thing. I just don't pull the brakes so hard. And if you watch my previous videos about spraying the brake cleaner down in there, when you just get the bike, I think that's real important that you spray all the grease. You've seen other people show you the grease that's, uh, that's inside the back brake. Getting off's not too hard. There it is again. I'm bending the uh, the chain guard. You know, like I say, I sprayed the brake 
cleaner right down in between these. I didn't move the bike until I cleaned both of those discs off real well. Back works really good. I cleaned it real good. The front um, has a little grinding noise. Um, what had happened to me is uh, I had uh, put on the parking brake and I rode it accidentally with the parking brake on. I mean, that's how easy these are. A lot of people have a hard time. I really don't see it. I can literally push both of them that easy. Now, mind you, you can push the bike back and forth. And I'm sure you can tighten that down a little bit more, but that's all I need. I mean, if I'm worried about the bike moving away from me, I'll just turn the wheel and it'll go in a circle. I'm not really worried about it. Getting off and on, I put my foot here. I kind of go a little parallel there. Put my right hand on the right side grip and get close. Leave my pedal right there, my right pedal. <laughs> my left hand, I push up with my left hand and my right knee <clears throat> and lift up and get on. And that's about all there is to it. So let's go for a little ride. I take off pedaling and boom, it takes right off. And then I give it the fuel. I give it the gas, rather, oh well, the electric. Nah. I give it the voltage. And uh, here I'm turning, good little circle at 13 miles. I'm not afraid. You're not gonna wreck on this bike unless you do something really dumb. Here's a little turn. I like to challenge the turns. Thirteen point six. In pass four, I'll put it in pass five, and it it may come up a little bit. Yeah, there's thirteen point seven. But that's basically about it. 13.6. Let me turn around here. So you can hear that, that front brake. Now I don't suggest you hit curbs real hard while you're on it. Especially at my weight, really at anybody's weight. But uh, I try and stop and go up them slow or. Yeah, I guess what I'm gonna do is order new brakes for the front. Hello there. <laughs> the little dogs hate us. Uh, the big dogs are all right. The little ones, uh, they don't like us. Well, there's one guy that sits out here in the garage up here. He has a pillow out for his dog. And it's an older dog. And I really don't mind him being off the leash because he's so behaved. We've been by here many times. Let's, there he is. There he is laying on his pillow. All right, guys. Uh, anyway, I hope you got, to, oh, I wanna thank everybody that subscribed to my channel. I've picked up, I don't know, 40, 50 subscribers. If you like what's going on, and if you like what I'm doing, pretty soon I'm gonna be fishing on this thing and heading out some other places. Subscribe if you like the video and you wanna follow along. I'm gonna try and keep up going as much as I can. This has been just perfect for me, so. I guess I'll sign off and I'll see you on the next video, okay? Thanks a lot for watching. Good night.